Oh, hold up. Hold on, we got something in our foothold. We definitely got something. In oh, the skunk trap's closed too. I wonder if there's anything in that. Daggum. So normally I wouldn't get too excited about our skunk trap, but the thing is, it's actually mating season right now for skunks. That's why we've caught like three in the last week. So I think there's a good chance we might actually have something in here. We definitely got something. We definitely got something in here. It's heavy. Here we go, first look. Bethany's gonna hold the, the light for me. Oh, pretty sure that is a possum. Oh yeah, look right there at the tail. That's a possum. Yep, it's a possum. He's pretty tight in there. That is the second thing we've caught in that skunk trap. Second thing, and we have never caught a skunk in it. But honestly, I really thought it could have been a skunk today. But worry not, because we do have something over here in the foothold. Maybe I was wrong. I don't see him anymore. Oh. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I do see him. Yeah, it's for sure a skunk. So I'm going to have to go ahead and probably dispatch him real quick. He's in a tough area to show you guys. And I'm just not about getting sprayed today. So I'll take that. Please, be careful. All right. Well, the gun barrel's clean. Can confirm. Definitely a skunk, but he isn't moving a lot. You don't want to get too close. Ah! You got a splinter. All right, this guy's already gone. Right there he is. I don't know what happened here, but he's already gone. No 1776 required. There's the trap. It had been a while since we had anything in this trap. I don't know. I don't know what happened to him. You coming? All right, watch where you're pointing that gun. We'll probably pick him up on the way out. We're walking back right now to check the rest of our traps. There was a lot of rain last night. It's not gonna be good for our traps. We use dry dirt to bury our traps, but it really doesn't help when it rains and then freezes. We let John do the reset on this one. As you can see, it didn't turn out too well. He definitely didn't cover it up well enough and he didn't set his pan. We gotta work on those trapping skills, Johnny. But this one over here, this is our other trap. Just completely submerged. No hope of catching anything in that one probably anytime soon. There's really no sense in us resetting them right now because it's just giving rain and freezing temps tonight anyway, so it's kind of pointless. It's been a while since we've had one of these critters in a trap. I gotta be honest with you, it's not something we look forward to. Now these guys are some type of predator. They do eat eggs, which is something we're also trying to eat and we don't want them eating. I'm pretty much willing to eat whatever, anything really that we can trap or kill or whatever. And I would eat one of these guys, but there are some stipulations to it. Right here we got us another skunk, boys. Right there he is. We're not gonna get too close. That's really probably the best view you're gonna get. This whole catch and cook is really dependent on one thing. And it's one thing that, that, that we have struggled to do and that is kill a skunk without it just spraying and destroying itself. I'm all for trying a skunk, but I'm not gonna clean one with it just covered in its own scent. Best chance, best opportunity for us to get this guy without him spraying is 100% a lung shot. So that's what we're gonna go for today. John, do you want? I'm probably, I'm probably your best bet at getting a clean lung shot. So I'm gonna try it right here. We'll see what happens. Oh, well, here we go. Find out if we're gonna have a ketchup cook or not. Give him just a second. Let's back away and make him not feel threatened as much as possible. I'm pretty deadly from like 10 foot away. John, you get to go up and nudge him. Make sure he's dead. <laughs> this may not be our last one either because it, like I said, it is mating season. I don't smell him at all. We're downwind too, so we should have. We are downwind, yeah, he ought to be. Uh, you ought to be smelling. Why would you not spray when you're getting shot? He's out. He's... All right, well, I don't know, John, what are you thinking? I think he's... I mean, I think if we're going to eat one, it's this one. Because I don't smell anything just standing here. I caught a whiff there a minute ago. I think he's good. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, he don't... I caught a little whiff of him, but he's a... Look at those guys. Have y'all ever seen a skunk up close? Look at his teeth, man. He got some chompers. You don't want to. You don't want to get too close to one of these guys. I tell you that much. But right there he is. I mean, I. I think we're gonna eat him. So skunk catching cook coming in hot. All right, here we go. This is a few days later. We're actually got the skunk up there right now in a bowl of water. Been soaking for quite a few days in some salt water, trying to get all the gaminess out we possibly can. We're getting ready to go up there and fry that up and get it all ready to eat and give you guys a review on it. First time ever having skunk. Never know, we were surprised with the fox. If you guys haven't watched the fox video, make sure to go watch that one because we ate a fox and it was delicioso. How's it going chickens? How's everybody doing? Everybody's ready to eat it looks like. All right, we got some scraps for the chickens today. Whole bread, expired just a few days. I ain't gonna hurt them. 
We don't do low carb around here, that's for sure. There you go. What goes good with skunk, John? Anything right off you can think of? No, so I think... Not chicken. No. But the egg. The egg sounds pretty good. So I think today, it's kind of like, kind of like waffle and chicken. Mm -hmm. ain't, ain't that Colonel Sanders thing? Well, today we're doing skunk and eggs. So let's see how many eggs we got. There's four, one nest. That's good. And we got three more. So that's seven eggs total. That's about on average for what we've been getting. We got a few eggs in the incubator right now. I'll probably show you guys them just in a second. But we'll probably keep these because we're getting a little bit low on some eggs to eat. Speaking of skunk, I smell skunk. You smell that, John? Mm -hmm. See that black bag down there? Put He's in the bag. You didn't do away with him? John failed to dis mm -hmm. discard the skunk. So we still have skunk remains, which explains the skunk smell, which is great right before you get ready to eat skunk. So skunk and eggs, let's go home, fix it up, and uh, try it out. We got a rooster on the loose here. He got out. Come around that way. Trying to wiggle this way. Oh, get him, John! Come quick, come quick. Ah! John, too slow. Too quick, too quick. Get him, you got him, John. You got him, get out! See that? You see that? It's too quick. I suck my fingers up his butthole though. Any eggs? Two any eggs up there? No, I didn't. All right, now we got the chickens wrangled. Let's go eat some skunk. From the pooper to the pot, here we are back in the kitchen. This is the dish we're getting ready to prepare in just a second. First, we're gonna fry us up a couple eggs. Should have this grease pretty hot. I like to go ahead and, and just bust the eggs into the container so you don't drop them in there and get grease all over. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're about to start a grease fire. Move that right back there for a second. How you like your eggs, John? Well done. Put a little bit too much grease in here. How about a really crispy outside and a really runny inside? I'm going to go ahead and get these eggs out here. Reason we did put so much grease in here is where, well, we've got something else we're going to be frying up here in just a moment. It smells nothing like skunk. So, I don't know. I, I could be shocked. Uh, we ate a fox in here. I mean, we were shocked. We're just going to roll that skunk leg real good. In that egg. Good dousing. I like that word, John. Yeah. Dousing. Into the powder. Make sure she is covered. Pat that in real good. Are you gonna do like a double? A double dip? Are you gonna double dip? Nah, no we, we ain't double dipping. Just some random seasoning. Old Bay. John and I both like Old Bay seasoning. I'm why getting, is that I'm Why getting, is that on fire? I'm getting destroyed. What's going on with that? Ooh. She's in, baby. We'll turn it down. Ah! Yeah! Ooh, you got. I got. You got, I got destroyed. All right, right there, we have the skunk, we have the eggs. I'm just going for a bite of these eggs already. Delicious. Chickens were literally the best choice I probably ever made. You just going in? I'm just going in, John. I'm just going in. I'm just going in. Oh, God, a little too far. Uh, yeah, oh, might. God. Oh, you. Oh, that's a lot. You just. Oh, I got some fat, John. Ooh. Mm. Oh, I got some fat in that. Chewy. I can tell that. Oh, chewy. It's not terrible, okay? It's not good. It's not terrible. If I'm hungry enough, I'm eating it. You know what I'm saying? Very salty. We put a lot of salt in this. It was soaked in salt water. Not as good as the fox. I don't really know what to say about it. It's different. It's it's a different kind of meat, okay? I, you, you're getting ready to taste it too, John, so you, you get to know. I think if we would have done like a roast with like the fox, probably a lot better. I still don't think you're getting the same flavor. Look how dark the meat is, though. Just really dark meat. I'm, I'm anxious to see what that calf muscle is going to taste like, John. I'm leaving that one for you. I told people on the short form video I just made, a really, really gamey wild squirrel. Not as good as squirrel. Squirrel's a lot better. I want you to go in go in for the calf muscle. No, you gotta go calf. You gotta go calf. I don't want to bite into something. So hey, I don't think you're getting it off any other way. Don't be flinging it over here. Those things you said was true. So there you have it, folks. Skunk, not great. Don't really recommend it. Three and a half, four out of ten. We were that was the consensus between John and I. 
Um, so we're probably not going to finish what's left. I guess we probably could give it to the chickens, maybe. But if you guys are enjoying the catching cooks, make sure to like the video. We need some more likes on the videos. And I believe in y'all. I know that y'all can do it. Just let us know any kind of videos you guys would like to see. We'll see you on the next one.